rights. Um, so basically what I decided was I didn't really like the way the things on the other world were going. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this world and we're just going to start from scratch. Basically, like, I mean, I was having trouble finding most things. It took it, it took me, like, hours to find my first diamond. I mean, th things just weren't going well in that world. Let's try this again. See if we can get a good world this time where diamonds are not, like, completely scarce. And things like that. Open a drink. Which I probably should have done before I started recording, but I forgot. I done fucked up. Alright, generating level, saving the chunks. My computer is starting to sound like it's like, not, I don't know how to describe it, but it's making a weird noise. Anybody online? Hey, Patrick's online. I sent uh, Patrick a message on, over, over Skype. I told him that if he wants to talk for a minute, he can, because why the hell not? Tech recordings are not that exciting when you're playing by yourself, so I mean, hey, anything to, you know, mix things up a little bit. Do you still use a little bit? Alright, let's walk around. Um, let's try and find some trees. Punch some trees in the fucking face. I hear a zombie. Must be down there. Oh god, it's a skeleton. Okay, let's walk away. Do 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 do. I didn't see that. Alright, um. Huh. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. Yeah, if Patrick doesn't want to talk, then I'm just gonna shut off Skype because it's causing some lag. <laughs> oh god, that was actually a pretty giant lag spike there. Um, but yeah, we need to find some trees. I see, I can't see any trees over there. Ah, uh, there's a tree right there. Okay, good. Punch some trees in the, well, uh, bark. Okay, well, already got a fucking creeper I wrote on us. This is awesome. <laughs> good. Go over here. This is not exactly how I wanted to start the Let's Play. Man, I can trick him. They smart enough to do parkour. Oh god, they're sentient! They're sentient! Okay. Ow. Well. Got that over with. Got our uh, annual creeper attack um, over with, so I think we should punch this tree and make some tools. Knock this tree out. It's always funny how Minecraft you can do just physically impossible things. You just punch a tree until it breaks. Like, literally, like, it's freaking. I didn't know frickin' Steve was frickin' Bones Jones. <laughs> Punch a tree until it breaks. Well, let's see if Patrick responded. Nope. Um, some sheep down there. Oh, ow. Also, um, it would be preferable if you do want to do any recordings with me, if you had Skype. It's preferable that way, considering that we can communicate without, like, server chat or anything like that. I'm gonna warn people, Skype does cause in-game lag, so if you have a low-end computer, it might not be the best idea.
Alright. I'll make a sword first, I think. We're gonna kill all these sheep and stuff, and might we probably actually make a bed on the first night, which is really freaking surprising. I don't think I've ever gotten a bed so early on. But we've got like just enough sheep here. Yeah, we got four sheep. So we got enough to make a bed. And then we'll have one more piece of wool after that. Unless one of these drops two. I don't I don't know. Can they drop two? I don't think they can. Got some chicken, that's nice. We have food. Also we have feathers so we can make arrows. Um once we find some flint, which is going to be the tough part, actually. That's one of the tough parts of getting progressive technology in this, is getting flint, also getting enough iron. Alright, well, and I, honestly, I think I'm going to go more of a magic path this time around, because, honestly, I don't like the way you start out with technology. The concern, you have to have so many resources on hand, otherwise it's barely worth it to try and make things. Alright, so we got like the perfect amount to make, and, uh, make a set of stone tools. I done fucked up with that. I done fucked up. Alright. Stone. Perfect. Now let's make a bed. Let's kill a chicken. You died. That chicken died. I think Fallout's making noises at me. I have uh, I have Fallout New Vegas running on my other uh, on my console, so I think it's making noises at me, which is that like screeching sound. I don't know if you heard that. Also, there's like birds and stuff in Tekken as well, so not it's definitely Fallout. Why that? It's, or it's my computer. I don't think it's my computer. be really weird if that was my computer, concerning that, well, computers aren't generally supposed to make that noise, but, um, alright, let's do some hardcore parkour, Perfect way to start, right next to a big thing of coal. It looks like we have a generally big forest in the other direction. Don't know if you can, you guys can see that on the mini map there, but yeah, looks like we have a forest, basically right in the direction that we're facing. Might be useful to go there tomorrow though. We'll sleep for ton we'll sleep for tonight. Ow. Right, so we have enough uh, coal to cook this chicken, definitely, and uh, I think after we get into that forest biome, we'll start mining from there, we'll gather some more wood, and um, yeah, but tomorrow's another day, guys, so, and it seems like it's, yeah, we don't, we only have a couple more minutes until nighttime, might as well pour the rest of my drink here. I only poured some of it because the world started. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, Patrick went offline. Well, then I might as well turn off Skype then. Hmm. 
and keep hitting quit Skype but it hasn't closed it yet. Kinda confused. But nice, we can use more chicken. But for now I guess we'll have to move on. Um Alright, so Okay, there we go. Skype finally closed, which is going to free up a lot of uh, computer resources, which is nice. So it should be running now. Uh, running better now. Yeah, it definitely is running better now. At least from what I can tell. Um, just wanted to click that. I don't know why. So we got plenty of coal in the base of these mountains here. Especially there. Might be a good idea to grab it because um, basically we're gonna be running a lot of our machines off of coal at first. So because well, I mean, sure, at some point I'll get like a geothermal facility and all this stuff set up, but. <laughs> geothermal facility, and I'll try and like. Got like nuclear power set up somewhere as well. Nuclear power plants maybe set up like far away. Not like, you know, in a galaxy far, far away. Like, this is fucking Star Wars, but you know. It's like far away from here, so that, uh. So that if that's something. If something goes wrong, which usually does with nuclear power. Uh, ow. Um, which basically is one of the reasons why I like, uh, magic better. It's a way of achieving ultimate power and speed and efficiency without possibly harming the world. And I just wanted to see if there were break effects on the bed, because that would, that would have been cool. I'm not, wasn't sure if there were. Um, and there aren't, but okay, so... Going to the, to bed for... You know what? Actually, no. Let's not go to bed. No! We have no choice. God damn it. I actually kind of wanted to just stay up and fight monsters for tonight, but whatever. Um, so, actually, what I think we'll do is... We'll grab... Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up a furnace for axe. We will, um... Looks we'll more some of the little caves. And then we'll go to that forest over there. Over yonder. But, um... Yeah, because, I mean, there's, like, a lot of... A lot of cave here that we could uh, search through. A lot of cave. Alright. Got so many sticks. We got torches for days. See, I got to play Feed the Beast recently with Willie and pretty fun experience. Except he's a complete nub and I had to teach him everything. Oh. How you doing, Creepa? How you doing? Like, really, I had to teach him how to make torches. Oh, fuck. I really, I really hope he doesn't watch this video. Actually, he... Alex, by the way, if, you, if you're watching, do not tell him that. Because I know he doesn't often... He often doesn't watch my videos. He often doesn't get them somehow. So... Just, just Alex, do not tell him that. Okay? Man. But yeah, he, he's a nub. So... You probably try to deny the fact that I needed to teach him, oh god, how to make torches, and, um, yeah. <sighs> okay. What? Okay. Sprint attacks are supposed to have more knockback than that? What the hell? That was, like, freaking... That was, like, nothing. I don't know. Actually, my game is being a bit laggy today. 
That creeper just kind of came from nowhere, didn't he? And start walking back up, and all of a sudden there's a creeper just sitting there, you know, waiting to say hi. Uh. I found like three creepers in one episode. This has been pretty eventful. That bird just scared the living shit out of me. Alright, um. Alright. I could probably make that jump. Oh, you know, if I don't fall off. Um. Okay. Oops, I placed a torch. Whatever. Frickin' cinematic lighting. Alright, um. Peering out over the world. Yeah, that cave was like nothing. Th that, that water doesn't look too deep to me, and, uh, unless it's two blocks deep in this update, uh, you still get hurt from fall damage. So, I'm probably not gonna try and jump, jump from there. That is definitely too deep water over there. I could probably jump into that. But now I'm too far down to the ground, and there's no point in jumping into it. Well, let's grab, like, two trees, I think. Would be nice. Good amount of wood to start with. You don't need all that much, considering we're. I'm not gonna focus on making a house just yet. I think we're gonna start out with a simple camp at first. Then we're gonna move on to a house later, considering that. I'm getting some pretty good frames per second, so I could basically fight off any monsters that try to attack us. So let's see if we place a torch right here. Right here. Right here. And right here. This is like our zone. Here. It's just more, it should be more like that. I'm trying to even these out. I'm gonna move that back by like two. Even though they're probably not evened out whatsoever. Still, I wanted to make them look kind of evened out. Yeah, they really aren't. Okay, well, whatever. Was that sheep just eating the torch or something? What the hell? What was going on there? My torch. Get away! Alright, so... I think we're gonna set the basics here. Our little camp. Alright. Got that settled. That's cool. The crafting table is a little sickle on top of it. I never realized that before. Maybe maybe that's like a random chance of that happening. Actually, hold on a second. Um this is actually in the wrong update, hold on. I'll exit I'll restart it in the right update, because I I forwarded it a little bit because we uh I was trying to create a server, and, uh, I failed. So. Like, I didn't necessarily fail, it's just that I couldn't set up the server. Or, well, it's, it's more of a problem with the mod pack itself. Because William kept crashing whenever he logged on. So hold on a second, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Well, they're all here, and I'm back, and in the right update this time, I think. Hold on. Yep, I am. Alright. <laughs> in the right update, this time. Um. This crafting table 3 is still in and all that stuff, so. Um. I have to say, did I lose all my tools magically? Alright, so. But yeah, so what we need to do now is. Ooh, sugar cane. Probably grab that. All right, perfect. The perfect amount of sugar cane, actually. That's exactly right. All right. 
right. I don't know if you know what I'm gonna do with the sugar cane, but uh, yeah. There we go, and then boom. Now, if we do this. Might as well make both of them. Normal crafting table and the crafting table three. So it could like be like frickin' dueling. Cause honestly it is more useful to have both of them. I want to set this up right so the tools are facing me. Which means that I need to set up like this. Um, or not. We'll just set itself up like that no matter what. Or... I think it must be random. Whatever. Um, you don't need to see the tools anyway. It just looks better to me that way. Anyway. Yeah, we can't make much here, can we? Um, also, I know some cool stuff now, actually, about how, um, like, we get, like, the seeds and stuff, and how we, and a w cool thing that we can do, basically. Um, crops, we can, ooh, I'm in, uh, cheat mode. Uh, crops, basically, what we can do is we can place things, uh, around, um, crops, and basically, this will allow plants to crossbreed, which is pretty cool. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. It seems to happen, like, once every recording that I do now. Also, like, the crop analyzer. Crop sticks, they're just made with sticks, that's cool. But yeah, so, um, crop analyzer is, like, supposed to, like, it's how you tell, like, the genetics of a plant or something like that. I can't remember, but, but yeah, some cool stuff, though, we can learn and try out. Um, I think I'm going to mark a waypoint over our little camp here. Alright, waypoints. I'm playing a lot of Feed the Beast recently, so I'm kind of forgetting which that button that was. All right. Can't. Ooh, not. I just type camo. Been making that mistake a lot recently. Instead of typing camp, I type camo. All right. So. I think I'll uh, run up to this little cave. And um, I think I'm gonna end this episode off right here, guys. And I'm gonna continue, uh, with exploring this little cave. In the next episode. Alright, guys, it's been Wilder L.